In this training module, you will be learning to operate this EMD F125 Spirit diesel locomotive. During this brief introduction, you will be taken through the critical driving controls and performing passenger operations. When you're ready to begin, climb aboard. Sit in the engineer's seat. You'll now go through the steps needed to take over this locomotive. You will need to set the generator field switch. This needs to be enabled for the locomotive to generate power. This locomotive requires the reverser handle to be inserted before operation. Switch the front headlights on. Regardless of the time of day or weather, all locomotives must have their headlights on. You'll need to set the brakes to the correct mode to allow them to be controlled by this cab. We can now begin loading. It is time to depart. Close the passenger doors. The reverser determines the direction of travel. The master controller controls both the throttle and dynamic brakes. Dynamic brakes use the locomotive's electric traction motors to generate resistance to reduce the wear of the brake pads. Apply a small amount of throttle. The automatic brakes are controlled with their own handle, but will blend the dynamic brakes in the air brakes. The air brakes will apply braking force to every car in this formation. Now, release the brakes.
Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. Keeping the speed limits is important. If you begin overspeeding, slow the train using the master controller's dynamic brake range. The EMT F125 is a passenger locomotive manufactured by Electromotive Diesel for the North American market. It's powered by a Caterpillar C127 20V20 diesel engine rated at 4,700 horsepower and is capable of speeds up to 125 miles per hour. When it launched in 2017, it was the first new passenger locomotive in North America in 15 years. To date, 40 have been produced, all of which were supplied to Metrolink. The F125 features a modern, streamlined body designed by Voslo Espana. Approaching the station. Begin applying a small amount of braking force using the automatic brake to bring the train to a gentle stop. Nice job. The train has safely come to a stop. You can now begin loading. Good work. That concludes all the basics of operating this train. In this training module, you will be learning to operate the Rotom commuter car manufactured by Hyundai Rotom. During this brief introduction, you will be taken through the critical driving controls and performing passenger operations. When you're ready to begin, climb aboard.
Sit in the engineer's seat. You'll now go through the steps needed to take over this train. You will need to set the generator field switch. This needs to be enabled for the locomotive to generate power. Switch the front headlights on. Regardless of the time of day or weather, all locomotives must have their headlights on. You'll need to set the automatic brake cutout to cut in to allow the braking to be controlled from this cab. Okay, it's time to depart. Close the passenger doors. The master controller controls both the throttle and dynamic brakes. Dynamic brakes use the locomotive's electric traction motors to generate resistance to reduce the wear of the brake pads. The automatic brakes are controlled with their own handle, but will blend the dynamic brakes and air brakes. The air brakes will apply braking force to every car in this formation. Now, release the brakes. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements.
keeping the speed limits is important. If you begin over speeding, slow the train using the master controller's dynamic brake range. The Rotom commuter cars were introduced in 2010. To date, Metrolink has received 117 of them. As part of Metrolink's commitment to passenger safety, these cars incorporate the latest CEM technology. This incorporates redesigned seats, tables, and special energy-absorbing zones at the end of each car. Metrolink was the first rail operator in the U.S. to incorporate CEM in passenger trains. Cab cars like this one allow a locomotive to be operated remotely from the other end of the formation, preventing the need for runarounds or additional locomotives. the station. Begin applying a small amount of braking force using the automatic brake to bring the train to a gentle stop. Nice job! The train has safely come to a stop. You can now begin loading. Good work. That concludes all the basics of operating this train.